Um, next one is food drug diaries ending. This is an interesting topic, isn't it? I hadn't thought about this at all, but I had noticed recently that they hadn't updated their fucking channel in a while, right? So maybe Brendan Shaw's food truck diaries is coming to a screeching halt very, very time, very, very soon, very soon, very soon, very soon. <laughs> A little bit better right now. You went from food truck to truck? Food truck? Oh, No, I was just sick of booking guests. Oh, you're not doing food truck anymore? No, it's not canceled. We we have one coming up soon, but it's not. We used to do two a month religiously for five years. Yeah, I don't. And then when I went on my own, I was like, bro, this is just too much work. I'm trying to cut back. Book? Show's been going on five years. Like, it's a yeah, great how many run. food trucks are there? It's a point. great run. And then also, <laughs> true. How many fighters can you interview? Oh, really? You got a fight yeah. coming up? Oh, you're gonna win. Oh, cool, man. Oh, but wait, why just? Is it? I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry, I don't watch it. But it's like fighters and food trucks. Food yeah. truck diaries. Food but truck what diaries. does it have to be fighters? <laughs> Honestly, this legitimately. Is another example of just how redacted this man is. He actually never had thought about it. He'd never actually thought of the idea of maybe not only interviewing fighters for his Food Truck Diary show. I still will maintain that I think Food Truck Diaries is the best bit of content that Brendan's ever made. I still think there's there's something there to be had for like you know especially when he started it you know around the time when food trucks were big you know going and having different food trucks um you know basically vie for a position on the show present their best foods and then talk about fighting over a meal or some food you know some street food with a fucking fighter in the location where it's at is amazing i still don't get why he gets them to order the food at the food truck but then takes the food to an office I'd always thought that the good thing to do it would be like do it like God, no, you know, kind of not God, so kind of like Anthony Bourdain style, parts unknown, where you rock up and you sit on those little plastic chairs on the outside, uh, so uh, outside, you know, on the side of the street and shit, um, or whatever, and eat it in on location in some respects. That would actually add to the actual show, but you know, if you went a different direction, cool. But there's actually something there in that show. That show is actually quite good. But he still fucked it up because, you know, he's not a really good interviewer. He has this weird way of asking questions where you sort of like ramble before he asks you a question. You're like, yeah, I want to get your opinion on something. And you just go on a ramble for like five minutes and then you have to kind of remember the question. It's really odd. Big up Stinger Good. Appreciate it, brother. No more showtime money for guests. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. And clearly as well, the production of the show has been, as Stinger Good's mentioned here, the production, big thank you for your super chat, brother. As as he's mentioned, the production of the show, the quality of it has definitely decreased since he stepped away from Showtime. They did a lot of the real heavy lifting on that show in terms of lighting it, filming it a certain way, editing it a certain way. It definitely isn't done to the same level of quality. Again, it's not the fault of the, you know, Chin and the rest of the guys there because they're probably doing enough work as it is, but fucking hell, man. The show's definitely suffered um, off the back of him getting kind of booted away from Showtime, but... I still think you can make it work, but it just needs a little bit more creativity, um, maybe thinking outside the box a little bit and just, you know, bringing it back to what it was, right? A, a show, talking to people involved in the MMA or the UFC, um, you know, over food. That's it. It doesn't need to be crazy, but, you know, pulling out fucking burgers to give Francis and Garno and out of your fucking Ferrari that are cold and then bring it to the fucking studio, odd taking the food from a food truck and bring it to the studio in the first place is odd. It's just all a bizarre show, to be fair. But I love the idea that he never had thought of interviewing people that weren't just fighters. It was only fighters in his head. <laughs> he blew his mind. No, <laughs> not at all. I, I feel, I feel, let's get other people on. Well, no, I feel... Well, you could expand it to other athletes. A- Why does it have to be athletes at all? What There's other mean? people besides athletes? Yeah. <laughs> we should, no, I could get Tim Salmon. <laughs> what... Oh man, I hate to tell you guys, my entire network's yeah, around yeah, yeah. fighting. No, I know, I know, I know. Should should I have, I, there's not that's a lie, by the way. He doesn't have an entire network based on fighting. Like at all. There's not an entire network that's based on fighting. The network encompasses loads of different things. The whole reason why he's got a network. But hey, what do I know? This should one? I have chefs on? Not this one. Not this one. Well, no, this is different. This is under thick, but oh, this right, is, this right, is right. comedy. True, but, true, true. Oh, should I, do, should I get Fred McGriff? Dude, sh- sh- I wait, good pull, <laughs> dude. Dude, should I? I'm yeah. just saying, it could, what I mean, though, is it could be anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't if, you book? No, if I want to focus on it, 
and like put right. effort and I could expand and be on like you uh-huh. know do athletes and do comics and I whoever else you mm. guys think and cele- yeah. celebrities are the worst. You're booking like straight up. Well, yeah. Like, if I if I focus on it, I, it's, it's all like remember that two people say like if I really wanted to, I could have become pro. It's like, bro, come on, man. Like, again, another example of like the laziness, isn't it? Because I, I still think that his show is definitely the best thing he's got in his roster of shows. If he actually did put some effort into it, it actually could be a big thing, you know? Unfortunately, he does 